What's up to all my free thinkers out there? The godless commies over at YouTube decide to demonetize the channel and start deleting videos without giving me a reason. I can't imagine why, so if you want to catch me live, I'm streaming Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Time over on Rumble. I also do some gaming streams on a different channel over there. So if you want to see me or you want to support me or you want to connect on social media, all links are in the link tree below. And all announcements will be made in the Freethinkers Rebellion Discord server, so make sure that you join up there. All right, back to the video. There's a gentleman. Flawed Zilla. I have spoken about him. I have looked at his stuff. He is uh, very solid. He breaks down music. He's a musician himself, and he seems to be pretty based. He I remember uh, hearing something he was saying about BLM, and he like read their charter. Was like, ah, no, because it was a bunch of communist bullshit. And so now he came out with a song called Marxism. I'm very curious to see what he has to say about it. First things first, uh, we're going to go ahead and buy the song. Because I hope it slaps, and if it does, that's going to be banging around in my gaming streams, which you guys should attend, because that's where I play this music. Um, and we buy it. Bro, you better have it on Amazon. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's called Marxism. It's on here. 99 cents, too. Yo, my dude. I appreciate the 99 cents. It is freaking tough out here. And you got all these people jacking up the prices of their songs. I get it. I get it. But still, I appreciate the 99 cents. Okay. All right, so we got it download. Got it. It's downloaded. I'll have that in the system. But now, let's check out the song. The trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant. It's just that they know so much that isn't so. Yo, I literally said that at the very end of my... of my last video that I posted on YouTube. Like, look at the last video. It was the Babylon Bee thing. That was the last thing I said. That's funny. I like the beat build up. Dropping the Reagan bar. Okay. The trouble with our liberal friends is not that they're ignorant. It's just that they know so much that isn't so. Ain't nobody trailblazing. Rap game is in a stale placing. Sales looking like snails racing. All the males ain't men. Hold their fingers up to hell Satan. Bet them niggas got their nails painted. It's an agenda. Everybody Okay, so he's like, they're not real men in the in the rap game. It's all crazy. Worshipping Satan. I just went over that Balenciaga thing earlier, uh, and yeah, that's totally true. So, um, I see they're talking about the gender already. Yeah, we're just going to keep it going. We're going to keep it going. But the ideologically captured people in the industry have these guys acting like they're chicks. That's a thing now. Fingers up to hell, Satan. Bet them niggas got their nails painted. It's an agenda. Everybody thinking they could change their gender. I could join the WNBA and play center. Just identify as a they them. -er. And if it makes sense, then they censor. It's a brain bender. Internet feel like a hive mind. We need protection from text, speech, or high crime. Reject the TOS and be arrested. See, the best thing you could do is respect the fucking guidelines. Pro establishment, these activists are full of it. Act like they compassionate, but that's a bunch of Bolshevik. Fascist. Oh, he brought out the Bolshevik, sir. My dude. Let's go. Go after. Go after these commies. These godless commies. My guy. Do it. Do it. They demonetized me. And you know why? It was literally the two days after I covered the Trump uh, assassination. I showed all the holes in it, broke it down. And then all of a sudden, whole channel demonetized. Bullshit. So, yeah, speech is a high crime, 100%. 100%. See, the best thing you could do is respect the fucking guidelines. Pro establishment, these activists are full of it. Act like they compassionate, but that's a bunch of Bolshevik. Fascists are in fashion, see, they cap it from the look of it. Leninists are really menaces, there ain't no benefits to Marxism. I don't even feel like rhyming, it's Marxism. If you seek it, then you'll find out it's Marxism. I'll repeat it one more time, that is Marxism. For the people.
people left behind. Marxism, they ain't even trying to hide it. It's Marxism, you don't see it, then you blind. Cause it's Marxism, maybe read between the lines. This is Marxism, imagine being on their side. Okay, I like the read between the lines because they never say that it is Marxism. They always say that it's something else. They always call it something else, and then it becomes communism, Marxism, like at the end. So you got like the BLM people, we talked about that. They're like, we are trained Marxists. We got Mao's little red book, and we're passing it around. We're like, this is our inspiration. It's like, oh, okay, so you want a fucking gajillion dead people and one and one gender, right? You want to destroy the pillars of society and rebrand it into a new beginning, you know, kind of like... Uh, something unburdened by what has been, you know, what could be unburdened by what has been. So destroy everything and then imagine the utopia that we could create if we just started over, if you just gave me all of your power, the things that we could do. And how does that work out? Graves, mass graves. So I like it. He's like Marxism. I don't even feel like rhyming. Marxism, imagine being on that side. Like, at this point, how damn stupid are you? If you're a Kamala Harris supporter in 2024, we have reached the end of, like, tolerance for ignorance. Like, you're so damn stupid, you're a danger to everyone around you at this point. Maybe read between the lines, this is Marxism. Imagine being on their side. People united will never be defeated. Evilish tyrants forever will be scheming. We wasting time with the petty disagreements. Devil and his demons are pledging the allegiance. Why you think that they attacking masculinity and silencing men time and time and again? Okay. I won't pretend that we ain't kinda intense, but violence and men's the only line of defense. Defense. The smartest way to bring a nation to its knees. Take who keep it safe and masculate them till they weak. Shame us for our nation. Jim, but us when we speak. Ask her how a day now you were rapist and a creep. Tell a woman she don't need to seek a husband. Why she reproducing when she could just be productive? Freeze your eggs, go and be a breadwinner. The bun ain't even cooked, so it's cool to clean the oven. Female empowerment is titties on the gram. Posting your pics for a pitiful lonely man. That wasn't creeping to that subscription to OnlyFans. Feminists are really menaces. There ain't no benefits to Marxism. Damn, he tied the feminists straight to the Marxism. Oh, I, that's, yeah, I agree. At the beginning, it's like, I, li- I love the, the lyrics the whole way because the message is great, but it definitely picked up as far as the enjoyability of the track once we hit that first go, and it just keeps getting better and better. So really like the bars. I liked he was talking about how we got to emasculate the men. We have to, to um, criticize them for their nature. And this is the thing that we're seeing, especially in, like, schools and and just the way that all of, like, culture and society is. They're trying to treat men like they are defective women. So they're saying that, like, all the things that women, the attributes that they have, those are the ideal. And then men are just, like, failing to live up to what women do naturally. So it's like you're just broken people because you're not as good as the women. But you're just different. It's very different. And as he said... The violent nature of men is what keeps society safe. And that's just fucking reality. And you're going to see as the third world shows up and kicks your door in and eats your cat and comes for your kids, you're going to wish there's a guy there who could intercede and take a couple of those stabbings as he, you know, fights off the intruder. Typically, you can only be a feminist in a first world country. That's, that's absolutely truth. And if we were to be dominated, instantly the feminists would become slaves. Look at Afghanistan. Okay. We left. The strong men left. All the women were slaves. One day later. Don't fucking try it. Okay. Just stop. And... Feminists are really menaces. There ain't no benefits to Marxism. I don't even feel like rhyming. It's Marxism. If you seek it, then you'll find out it's Marxism. I'll repeat it one more time. That is Marxism. For the people left behind. Marxism. They ain't even trying to hide it. It's Marxism. You don't see it, then you blind. Cause it's Marxism. 
Maybe read between the lines and shit. Marxism, imagine being on their side. People united will never be defeated. Evilish tyrants forever will be scheming. We wasting time with the petty disagreements. Devil and his demons are pledging the allegiance. People united will never be defeated. Evilish tyrants forever will be scheming. We wasting time with the petty disagreements. Devil and his demons are pledging the allegiance. You know, someone very profoundly once said many years ago that if fascism ever comes to America, it'll come in the name of, li of liberalism. Dude, ending that with, with Reagan again on the same exact thing. It's, it's never called communism. It's never called Marxism. It's always called some other bullshit. And so the progressive left, the liberals, they, it's like Agent Smith, okay? So the communists are like Agent Smith. If you've seen The Matrix, it's like they can take over any thing. They'll just engulf the, con the, the institution and infect it with the virus that is Marxism, communism. And then they'll spread and they'll go to a fucking other one over here and then another one over here. And they're just, but it always appears as the thing it was before the communists and the Marxists got to it. And they keep that label as a facade so that they could gaslight their way to get enough power to then eliminate everyone that they need to eliminate. And then it's just a bunch of oligarchs running the shit, killing everyone who notices and has a problem with it. So that is is pretty much the every single time communist uh, situation. It happens. Yeah, and the new Reagan movie's coming out, so you strategize that pretty well, dude, because that's going to be coming out uh, the end of this month, the new Reagan movie. So, good. I saw someone said, uh, Flawed has great podcasts. Um, I've seen some of the reactions. I haven't seen, like, long-form podcasts. Flood, hit your boy up. Let me get on that podcast with you. We'll talk about some shit, okay? I'll, I can behave for YouTube, potentially. My finger was crossed off screen. I'll edit this out. Anyway. Uh, that, that was pretty good. It started slow. It ramped up. And then I thought it was quite good. Quite good. So I can't wait to be, uh, you know, playing Fortnite in the gaming streams, rocking out to Marxism and just murking a whole bunch of folks. That's how we got to do it. Reese, he's on Rumble too. I haven't watched him on Rumble. I'll have to check that out. Maybe he can get in a gaming stream. How cool would that be if we had the gaming stream featuring Flawed and we could play Fortnite or something? That would be legit. All right. I'm leaving a like on that. I'm sharing it to X. So if you guys want to see that, you could either check me out on X or you can follow the Discord in which uh, the X post will be shared. But yeah, it's at JeffDFTR. All my social medias are actually um, just Freethinkers Rebellion. So if you look up Freethinkers Rebellion, then that works. Oh, yeah, I got that. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, X at Jeff DFTR. Frame to think on YouTube. Freethinkers Rebellion on TikTok and Instagram. So, there we go. Got a little woo, overlay thing that I made. Hope you like it. Reese says his lady games with Nova. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Jeff, are you ever going to start your podcast back up again? Um, not really, because this kind of is my podcast. So doing like video free podcasts doesn't really make sense for me. I don't have enough time to make it work. I tried, but it was so time intensive to put like Thoughtcast into an audio only portion when people could just watch it here and listen only if they need to. You know what I mean? Haters, hit him up, Jeff. He's uber chill. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it. Actually, speaking of that, um... On two things. So on w tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing uh, the debate. So I'll do a live show of the debate. Um, on 
Wednesday after this, after the stream, I'm going to be, I'm going to be raiding AP Unfiltered, who was on the panel with me two Thursdays ago, and he's having uh, Prager. He's having Prager on his channel, which is awesome. So I want to support him, and we're going to raid over there. It says, Jeff, we need to take a look at the censorship we have been and are experiencing. Academia is now playing a huge role. Yeah, we do. I agree with that. Friday, I'm going on I Came With Fire podcast. It's going to be late, so I hope you guys can hang for a little bit. But they are based out of uh, California time. I don't know if they're in California, but they, they write out as of California time. So I'm going to be on that show uh, to, on Friday night. It's going to be uh, 10 p.m. to 1 a.m., which is 7 to 10 their time. Uh, but if you guys can show up, that'd be amazing. Their last Friday podcast that they had had like 80,000 views on Rumble only. So I'm going to be on that show. And so I want to plug that all week because I want uh, you guys to check them out and to head over there. And uh, I looked back and they have a whole bunch of uh, live streams that go hard. So I'm going to bring something real special for them uh, to make, you know, to make a, a, a bit of an impression if you get my drift.